Thank you for coming today. My name is Kirsty. I'm the Small Business Center Librarian. The Small Business Center is on the fourth floor of the main library. Um, we have a lot of resources for people starting their businesses and also for people who are currently running their businesses. And I welcome you to, to come up to the fourth floor and, and look at all the resources that we have. I'm very excited to um, welcome Alejandra Ureño from the Department of the Environment, who's going to speak to us about how to become a green business in San Francisco. Please help me welcome Alejandra. Hi, hello everyone. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you, Christy. Uh, my name is Alejandra and I am from the Department of the Environment um, and I work on the San Francisco Green Business Program. So I'm here today to show you a little bit more about the program, how it works, the resources we have available for you all and some of the benefits of becoming a green business. So thank you again for being here and I welcome your questions, any comments that you have at the end of the presentation. Yeah, so the Green Business Program is a free program and we work with small and medium-sized businesses to achieve a wide range of environmental best practices. And so through this, these practices, we help the business save money and resources. And so there are over 350 green businesses in San Francisco right now and over 4,000 throughout the state of California within the Green Business Network. And so the way that the program works is that we look at a checklist with different sections of sustainability. And so one of the sections that we look at is energy. And so uh, one of the measures on the checklist is switching to LED lights because um, it's a great uh, energy saving uh, source and a lot of money saving potential. Um, and so and additionally, the LEDs don't have those harmful chemicals that fluorescent bulbs do. Um, and so we also like to recognize that not every business is the same. So for example, for one business, switching lights would be a huge cost saving potential. Um, but for another business, say if you have like a grocery store, then maybe refrigeration might be that great energy saving potential. So we really like to look at each individual business for their needs and work with them accordingly. Um, we also have energy contractors that we work with. And so we can set you up with a, um, a consultation for a lighting retrofit or anything else that is needed with no upfront costs. Uh, so we also look at pollution prevention and we help businesses switch to less toxic cleaning products. We recommend products that are certified as safer alternatives than those that carry harmful ingredients. And those harmful ingredients, you know, affect us, our bodies, as well as ecosystems. Um, and a lot of these, pollution, these pollutants often end up um, in the ecosystem. So we like to look at products that are like safer choice, EPA certified, um, that are all around just have better, safer ingredients. We also look at solid waste, and so we help businesses maximize their composting and recycling um, abilities. We also offer the businesses um, opportunities to train their staff, and so we can visit your business and talk to your staff about ways to maximize uh, recycling and composting, which in turn also saves the business quite a lot of money. We also look at transportation. Um, so we help businesses um, offer commuter benefits for their employees. We also help incentivize sustainable modes of transportation like walking, biking, taking public transit as well. And water conservation is also um, a big one. So we'll go to the business and we'll look at your water fixtures to see whether they're saving um, their water efficient. So we'll carry aerators with us and on the spot we can look at your, at your faucets to determine whether they're um, letting a lot of water out of the air out of the faucet. And if so, we, on the spot we can just switch it out um, so that you're not wasting as much water. Um, and if we determine that we can't make those changes on the spot, then we can hook you up with the SFPUC um, for a free consultation. And they are also able to make those changes to your fixtures for free. And the last section that we look at is about community. And this section is really about engaging your customers, the community, your clients, um, and letting them know that you hold sustainability as a core value. And so we have up to $1,500 for businesses to spend on green purchases or lighting retrofits. It is on a first come first serve basis, um, but this money is used for essentially any of, any of the items on the checklist. Um, it is important to note, however, that in order to receive these funds, you should complete all of the measures that are not associated with any costs firsts. Uh, another important aspect to note is that the program has three levels of recognition. The first is the efficiency level, and this is the entry level. Um, on, at this level, we really focused on cost savings and resource savings for the business, uh, ways to, to minimize uh, your utility bills. 
Next, at the certified level, this one takes a little bit of a deeper dive at the business's operations. So we look at how um, you, your operation can work more sustainably, as well as using like more environmentally friendly products. And then at the innovator level, that's the highest tier. And this one really goes above and beyond for businesses that really want to do um, take the extra step in their sustainability journey. And so an example of something that we would do at this innovator level would be helping a business switch to 100% renewable energy, for example. Um, but really, all of these levels can be a journey. A lot of times, our businesses will start at the efficiency level, and then they'll move up to the certified or the innovator level as they realize that the changes can be made easily. We have plenty of sources to offer everyone, um, and it can be done. So the African-American uh, art and culture complex is a great example of this. They began at the uh, efficiency level, and they moved up to certified and innovator. It took them two months to complete the efficiency level, four months to complete the certified level, and then with an additional two months, they were at the innovator level. And so here we can talk a bit more about the steps to becoming certified. So first, you would register your business on greenbusinessca.org, and I'm happy to stick around and help you all do that. Um, after registering your business, you would schedule a site visit with the Green Business Coordinator. So that would be either myself or one of my colleagues. And during this site visit, we would just visit your business. We would do a walkthrough with you of the physical space of your business. We would kind of look at all the physical aspects, like the light, as we mentioned, your water fixtures. And then we would sit down and discuss the rest of the measures on the checklist. After that site visit, you would work with your coordinator and you would send any documentation associated with the measures. Um, so this can be, you know, you can meet, we can meet a few weeks after this site visit. We don't have to meet in person. We can meet over Zoom, a phone call, whatever it be. And this is really an opportunity for any updates for me to let me know how you're doing on those measures, if you have any questions, if you need any assistance, um, anything like that. And so we would meet periodically until all of the all of the measures on the checklist have been completed. And then finally, you would submit any um, any forms for reimbursement or anything like that associated with costs. You would get your money back um, and you'd be certified as green business. So here we have some of the benefits of being a green business. So at the efficiency level, you know, you get, of course, cost savings and reimbursements. There is a reduction to your environmental impact and your exposure to toxics. We have a Green Business Facebook page that we update regularly. We highlight the green businesses that we work with. And we also include you on the Green Business Directory and map. So we have a map of San Francisco green businesses where anyone can see and locate uh, all the businesses that they're looking for in San Francisco. But the Green Business Network also has a, a directory on their website. So anyone in California can search if they're looking for a restaurant, if they're looking for a plumber, if any type of services, they can look and they'll find your information on there. Um, they can also just search by zip code and any of the any green business that is near them will be also shown on there. So at the certified level, which is a step up, um, you would also receive a, a certificate signed by the mayor of San Francisco, Mayor London Breed. You'd also receive a green business window sticker that you can put at the front of your business to kind of let your customers know that you're a green business and advertise that. You'd also receive a green business award plaque with the name of your business on it and lots of other logos that you can use um, to put anywhere front facing on your business to let everyone know that you're a green business. We have a marketing toolkit that we give out to uh, businesses that get certified that they can use. So here we have a list of eligible expenses that you can use those $1,500 for. So you could use it for an LED uh, lighting retrofit, to buy less, less toxic cleaning products, um, energy efficient appliances, if you need like a smart thermostat, energy efficient computers, um, anything essentially that is on the checklist in order to get certified as a green business is eligible to use the funds for. And so now I just want to say, you know, we really appreciate your interest in becoming a green business and helping make your operations more sustainable. Uh, we really hope that you join the green business community. You know, there are so many businesses in San Francisco, so many across California. So every small difference that we make, it just has a huge impact. Um, so again, thank you all. And if you're interested, I'm happy to help you register your business, schedule your, your first site visit and kick off um, this process. Thank you. I have here my um, email as well as those of my colleagues. Um, so if you have any questions, um, please email me, give me a call, um, and I'm happy to help. If there's any questions, I'm happy to answer them now. Cool. Thank you, yeah. Thanks.